I went to the rally against the NDP's Bill 6 Monday at the legislature. The sign-up sheet that was passed around at the rally revealed that at least 1,800 farmers and ranchers showed up to stand together on the steps of the legislature against Bill 6. Now, Bill 6 is the proposed law that will make mandatory occupational health and safety regulations, WCB coverage, and labor laws on family farms. And farmers are having none of it. Wild Rose MLAs stood together with their progressive conservative counterparts and gave some barn burner speeches defending Alberta farmers from this latest NDP attack. I spoke to dozens of farmers who wanted to tell me why Bill 6 is bad and how it will hurt their farms. Listen. I just really am disgusted with the free reign this gives the government at our, at our uh, property. The NDP government is telling my family, my six-year-old daughter cannot go feed her sheep. She cannot go to the barn. Like, there shouldn't be red tape for farming. My 12-year-old son spends about 100 hours every fall with his grandpa in the combine. Uh, he started when he was very young. To me that's mentorship and that's training at its very greatest and that would essentially be lost. This is going to kill the, for the farms and it's going to kill all industry. I have my own business doing on-site machining and I spoke to PC MLA for Lloyd Minster, Richard Starkey, who also used to be a veterinarian. He understands rural life here. We're very, very concerned about Bill 6. This could have profound changes on our uh, rural way of life and uh, certainly my progressive conservative caucus mates are going to be doing everything we can to allow our farmers and ranchers to have the consultation that so far they've been denied. I spoke to Travis Olson, one of the organizers of today's event, here. We organized this rally uh, because we as farmers and ranchers are extremely concerned about the devastating effects that this will have on farm families. You can see that there was probably between 1,000 and 1,500 people. People drove from uh, for hours and hours to get here because they're extremely concerned about the bill. And my message to Rachel Notley is that you're not listening and you're not representing your constituents. You need to start listening and you need to kill Bill 6. Now there were many Hutterite farmers in attendance on Monday. They're farmers from a religious sect that live on colonies across the prairies. They're pacifists, but here, they're here protesting because they feel Bill 6 is an attack on them. Bill 6 is a discrimination to our Hutterite values. Now at one point, farmers marched up the stairs and chanted at the doors of the building here. Monday's event was the most Albertan thing I've seen in a long, long time, and I go to a lot of rodeos. It was farmers and ranchers and their families coming together to demand that their government hears them. And you know what? They were heard. Bill 6 was taken off the order papers on Monday night. The bill isn't gone, but the NDP hit the pause button for the day. The NDP blinked for a second, and that's a victory. Albertans are capable of making the NDP hit the brakes. Pushback made them drop their seven and a quarter percent raise for senior bureaucrats earlier this year. Pushback made them blink yesterday. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed.